to create a webinar inside Techmatics. I'm going to take you through these basic steps. First of all, you're going to make this a bit bigger for you just to take you through the details. Um, you're going to want to create an opt in form for your webinar. You also may want to create a whole landing page. Now, this second step is not necessary. You can actually just create an opt in form on its own. And that seem, that can be just the only stage you need for people to register for your webinar. But if you do want a whole page that's talking about the webinar and everything they're going to get, you can choose to add that next level if you want to. After you've done that, you're going to want to create what's called the replay portal. That's where you might want to pop any resources. It's where the replay recording of that webinar is going to go. And you're also going to want to create an automation that's going to give the registration confirmation email, send out any reminders, send up any follow up emails and so on. So I'm going to take you through these steps in the next video in the, sorry, in the next video. In this video, <laughs> you're going to, first of all, go and grab the link for that webinar. If, for instance, you're going to host this in Zoom, log into your Zoom account, create the meeting appointment date and time that will give you the link to your Zoom webinar. If you're using Google Meet, again, log into Google Meet, set the date and time, it will give you the URL to that particular meeting that's going to happen. So whatever webinar video platform you're using, go and create the appointment, grab the link, and you're going to need to save that for later. Go and stick it on a note document, a Google Doc, open it in a new tab. You're going to need that in one of the next steps. The next thing we're going to do is create the registration opt-in form. And like I said, you don't have to have a full-blown sales page for a webinar, particularly if it's free. You may actually just simply only want the form. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. Um, so let's go in to our Techmatics account. I'm going to take you to a demo account here just to show you the main steps. So we're going to go in and create this opt-in form. And you do that underneath your websites and funnels section click on forms and go to form builder. You're going to press add a form on the top right hand side. You can choose from a template, but I'm going to show you how to start from scratch on this particular one. And this is going to be where you're going to create that registration opt-in form. I recommend keeping this as simple as possible. By default, you'll have a form that looks a little bit like this. I personally would remove the last name and the phone number. If this is a free webinar, you only need their first name and email. Make the objection barriers as low as possible for people to come in. Of course, you will need some kind of disclaimer, which you can edit over here based on uh, making sure you're adhering with GDPR and things like that. So you can change that if you need to um, over on the right hand side by clicking on it. You can edit the button itself by saying um, register now, you know, register now or reserve your place now. These are all different things that you can add however you like. Okay, you can change all the formatting, layout, the colors, whatever colors and everything you want here, you can change all of that. You're going to press save. Now you also want to name this. So I would call this, for instance, the, um, I don't know, the leadership webinar. Uh, oopsie, how have I used my things? Leadership webinar, for an example, that's just for you. You're going to need to be able to find this form later. Uh, registration form. You are going to need to be able to find this form. The other thing you might want to do, because this bit here is what the client is going to see. If you're just um, going to use this form as your registration form and you don't want to have a whole sales page, then you might just want to put a title here so that when people do come to this form, they know what they're opting into. So press the plus button on the top left hand side of your screen. This is where you're going to add all the different elements to your form. Scroll down until you find the text elements drag and drop the text element. This is where you can title um, register for the free leadership webinar. Okay, whatever your things about. And oh my gosh, registrar. <laughs> <laughs> trying to like demo and talk and type all at the same thing all at the same time okay so again I can change the formatting of this however I want you can change the size of the text over here if you want if that's too big layout background colors all that stuff okay I'm not going to worry about making it look pretty but this is where you do all of the prettiness over here that's perfectly sufficient now for us to go out to market with this you go to integrate and you want to make sure that it's in line and copy form link. You are going to need that later on. So I'm going to open this in a new tab over here. 
and boom, that is now the form that people can see. They can now register for your webinar and you can start collecting emails immediately. And this is why I say you don't have to have a sales page. This is enough. This is absolutely enough for a webinar. So that is us now having, we've got our Zoom link uh, saved for later. We've got our registration opt-in form that we can save for later. Now, if you are going to create a whole sales page to go with your webinar and you wanna make it look more beautiful around the opt-in form, then what you're gonna do is go and create your beautiful webinar opt-in page and use one of our templates. So let's go now into our, I'm gonna press save on this. We're gonna go into our funnel builder. So websites and funnels, click on funnels. And up here you can look for templates. So if you type in webinar, there may be some templates in your dashboard already. So for instance, there's one there, there's um, one funnel in this one. Let's have a look what's in there empowering webinar template. Let's have a look and see what this looks like. We can click on edit, or of course you can completely build from scratch. You don't have to use the templates that are in here, but you may also find it a lot easier. Let's pick on this particular template here. So I can click on this logo and upload my own. Um, whatever you click on over on the right hand side is where you edit it. So I've clicked on this image scroll down there's your image options click on that upload from media library and this is where you can go and upload your logo um have i got a logo on here got all the old techmatics ones <laughs> you can upload a file so this will take you into your you know your download area let's pretend that's my actually is a logo double click on it and double click on it again, and that logo will pull over. You can change all the fonts by simply clicking on it and changing the text. So join the free webinar now, okay? And you can put in all your text, you can change the colors, click on this button, for instance, here, um, and change the colors to it. Now, the button is the bit that's important because we need to link this button to the opt-in form so that when they click on the button, they're taken to this form. So this is where you're going to grab that link to your opt-in form. And on the button here, click on the button. Right hand side is where you edit what happens to the button. First of all, save my seat. You might want to change that to get my free spot, whatever you want it to say, you choose. Button actions. What do you want to happen when someone clicks on that button? And this is where you're gonna to go to a website URL. And what's the website URL? It's gonna be the URL to your form. And do you want it to open in a new tab or in this tab? That's entirely up to you, obviously. Press save. Um, it's gonna give you the option to change the metadata of your page. Metadata is basically what people see when they go into Google. So I know leadership webinar. Hit enter, webinar, webinar. This here, this is metadata the title, the URL, the sentence, okay? So let's pretend that, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna, just gonna borrow something from here for the sake of this, okay? Uh, example, inside my uh, metadata, you're gonna wanna put the title of your thing, free leadership webinar, okay? And title, description, whatever you want the description of your webinar to be, keywords would be leadership. This is all just so that your stuff can get found on Google. In the image, this is where you'd want your, um, what's it called? your image that you want to, to show up on social media to be placed, okay? Um, so you just upload that. And now you can see this is gonna give you a preview of what your result will look like on Google. That's just what that means, okay? Update SEO metadata, cool. You can change your images here, again, by uploading these from your media library. I tend to make these images inside Canva. Um, you, you can delete any sections that you want, add any sections that you want, you can import videos if you want to, like if you wanted to replace this with a video, you can press add an element, scroll down, video, perhaps this is like your promo, let's get rid of that element, click on here, and this is where you can choose whether it's a YouTube video, if you've uploaded this to YouTube, just stick the YouTube URL there and that video will play. You can also um, have what's called a hosted video, which means it's hosted inside your own media library. So you press select video, you're gonna upload your video into, 
So here's one I uploaded earlier. And that's now going to add that particular video that I've made. And you can even, when it's a hosted video, now autoplay on or off, allow people to pause or not, allow people to do certain playback speed changing, allow them to see a progress bar, generate leads from your video by embedding a form into it, right? There's all these, all these different things that you could do, okay? I'm just gonna press save on here right now. Uh, but you might just quite simply have a YouTube video that's like, come and join this webinar. This is what you're gonna learn. Hope you have a great time. See you there, cool. So this is now how you can press save. You can press publish. And this will say, what domain do you wanna connect it to? So whatever domains you've connected to your account will show here, press save. You can then also go and press preview over here and this will give you a preview of what your webinar page now looks like so da -da, there's my video there's all the information when i click on that button it should take them to the form ta -da, there we go there we have it so if you need help making sure that your domains up here are all the right domains, please make sure that you have uh, gone onto the chat on the bottom right of your screen. Live chat support can help you get the correct domains connected to your Techmatics account so that you have a nice URL when you share your page. From there, we've now got our Zoom link behind the scenes. We've got it saved for later. We've created our registration form. We've now created our beautiful opt-in page and we have added the opt-in form to the button. Okay, what happens next? Now we want to create our replay portal and make the space for where we're going to put any resources and the recording of our webinar. We're going to do that by going into the courses area inside the Techmatics account. So press back out of your funnel, make sure you've pressed saved on everything. You're going to now click on courses and memberships. You're going to go to products. And we are going to correct, click on create a product, build your own. And I would call this the leadership webinar. Okay, oh, I've done it all in the wrong capitalization, but who cares, it's a demo. <laughs> the leadership webinar um, recording, for instance, whatever you want to call it, you can change the name later if you want to. Let's press create. Um, then the, the category is going to be called leadership webinar. Okay. You can put a description in there if you want to. You can put a thumbnail here if you want to. So I can, um, for instance, I tend to make these inside Canva, but that would be the leadership webinar, whatever your thumbnail is. Upload that. So you've got a little image and press save. Can make it a bit smaller. All right, now um, that's the title of this whole section. This bit here is the lesson. This is where the video will be uploaded. This is where the recording will be. So this is gonna be called Leadership Webinar Recording here, okay? And then you, if you have not run this webinar yet, this is in the future that you're creating this, you're gonna say um, this webinar Oopsie, yeah, is due to run live on the following date. All right, so we're going to put date, we're going to put time. Now, remember we saved our Zoom link? Here's the Zoom link or webinar link, whatever your webinar link is, whatever platform you're doing it in. This is where you're going to put that Zoom link, the Google Meet link, the StreamYard link, wherever it is that you're running your live webinar from. Link to join. Okay, ta da. And you're going to say something like the recording will be uploaded here immediately after. Boink, okay, save. Now this is also a thumbnail that you might wanna add, again, just saying what's in this lesson. So let's pretend that said leadership webinar recording here, upload, and we've now got that in there, save. What happens now after we have recorded this webinar live, I would go and download the recording from Zoom or Google Meet or ever, and I would simply upload it here so that, that recording is there for next time. Press save. So we now have the portal for the recording to go and live. 
what happens next? Let's go back to our chart. We've now created the portal, the holder, the placeholder for that. We're now going to create our workflow that's going to confirm their webinar registration. We'll remind them of the webinar and also we'll grant them access to that recording portal automatically too. So we're going to do that inside our automated workflows area. Click on that and you can create a workflow from scratch or you can even use our webinar template that's being created for you in here, okay? Uh, there's the registration, confirmation and reminders. So if you wanna use a pre-made template to edit, pick that or you can start from scratch. So what you're gonna do is first of all, change the, uh, get rid of this registration link clicked because this is just a, a template in here. The trigger needs to be that a form has been submitted because this form is what somebody fills in to register for your webinar. So you're gonna go up to here and we're gonna make sure that this is being triggered by the correct form. So the form has been submitted, registration form is submitted, the form is, and then you need to go and find your leadership webinar form that you've made. So there's your leadership webinar registration form. Select, save. So now when somebody fills in that leadership webinar registration form, you now wanna add a tag. So you're gonna to wanna to write in a new tag, has opted in to join the leadership webinar. Okay, add new tag and save. That's now gonna tag them. Now you wanna set the date and time of your webinar. It's gonna be a specific date and time. When is it? So obviously you're gonna to need to skip through, make sure it's the right year, okay? Scroll through because the default on here um, will be old. So, you know, 2024, April the 3rd at, it's gonna run at, I don't know, nine o'clock. Oops, I didn't know, let me do that. Nine, whatever. Okay, pick your time. Press save, that's the time the webinar is gonna run. Um, no, I don't know why. Yeah, we're gonna send them a confirmation email. So uh, you can just say, thank you for registering for the event. You can edit this however you want. Okay, you're gonna put your link to the Zoom or the Google Meet or wherever it is that it's running right there. Okay, and um, that's gonna be their confirmation email. Then you're going to have this one here, wait until 24 hours before the appointment time. So that is this appointment time. Okay, it's, it's gonna come from the appointment that's above it. Wait until 24, one hour before this event. Save, then send this email. So put all of your details in here and there's the reminder, there's the webinar link hole that you pop in there. Oh, cancel, don't wanna delete that cancel. Uh, wait until one hour before. So it's wait until one hour before and it's coming off of this event. Sends them another reminder email. You just need to go in and edit these details. Wait until 10 minutes before. Now, if you don't want that step, that's too many reminders for you. Just press delete. Otherwise, you just go in and again, edit the 10 minute before email. Then you can wait until, if you want to, press wait in the add steps. Wait until and you can do event appointment and time. And you can wait until after, change this to after, and you might wanna wait until one hour after, save, and then send an email saying, how was it, okay, da 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 da. You might wanna go, hi, custom value contact first name. How did you find the webinar? Right, it was amazing. The replay is just loading up in your portal right now. Access it here shortly. Okay, and then put in the link to your online school, your portal um, link in there. Okay, so that's another thing you can add. You also, and I didn't save that by the way on purpose because I can be asked to put the email addresses in. <laughs> demos only. Uh, you can also then, you know, do another wait step, wait for one week. You could even, for instance, ask for a review and send them a review request afterwards too. So there you go. That now, um, oh, I missed a step, sorry. We want to give them access to that portal area. So somewhere before the event starts, press add and you want to go down to membership, type in membership and you want to press grant offer 
And what are you going to grant them access to? Go find your leadership. And I didn't press publish on the other one. So please make sure you press publish or it won't show up here. Select your leadership webinar, press save, and it will now grant them access on automatic, uh, automatically to that recording portal when they sign up. So there we have it. That, my dear friends, is how you create a webinar inside Techmatics. If you need help with any of those stages, always go to the bottom right hand corner. We've got this little question mark chat box thing and click on there. Click on the live chat. We have support staff on there 24 hours a day who can help you. This is the quickest way to get support um, rather than waiting for an appointment on Zoom with anyone. You can also request a Zoom meeting on here if you're struggling to kind of get the help that you need through the chat box as well. So always use this as your first port of call to get help. But that is how you create and publish a webinar on Techmatics. Happy teching!